Hi, I'm Deshaun's Pittman grandma. Deshaun was living with me when he got murdered by the police. What I want, what, why I came out here today is that they put a stigma on my whole family, okay? People don't know the background and the history of where these kids come from. That's right. I'm a church going woman. I work, I have a great job. I take care of my grandkids, my kids, so they don't have to be out here taking anything. The problem is peer pressure. Back then when we was coming up, we had everybody to discipline our kids. Now when we try to discipline our kids, if they got we a bruise, we go to jail. To I'm jail. here to let you know, Deshaun came from a <laughs> decent family. All right. We are not no murderers. I did not, I do not quote unquote, slap him five when he go out and do things, okay? My grandson, when he left home, Friday, he mopped my whole house. I have a mini mansion, and he ran upstairs, gave me a kiss, and said, Grandma, I'll see you later. He didn't leave home to go kill somebody or to go and get killed, okay? When I got the call, I had just left from getting him a pair of Jordans because I can just see my grandson light up like a Christmas tree because he did something for me, and I did something for him. Okay, when I got the call that my grandson was shot 11 times, mm -hmm. why would you shoot him 11 times? That's overkill. Yeah. But see, everybody in the media don't know that we got a, a, a movie, we got a, a camera, we got somebody video the police when they was in the back talking about my grandson was standing over the body when he wasn't. He was a about a, away. a, a few away. feet, a, a half a block away from the body when he entered the, the alley, they shot him, he fell over, he held his hands up to the police like, okay, officer. But earlier that day, y'all don't know that they put him in the car and told him before the day over, one of y'all gonna be murdered. Mm -hmm. And they killed him, they, he was a man of his word because he killed my grandson. And the girl was taping the whole thing in the alley where they the threw the sheet over the him person. and the second body, they stepped over to John, went to the second body. He might have lived because 11 bullets sometimes don't kill you. So when the girl said, oh my God, 20 minutes later, they are walking over to the second body. If he was standing over the body, why would they have to walk to the body? And then after the police all in there when it's over with, we got the blood trail where they drug his body over there to the body. To body. They drug him to the boy body to have a death to fail for homicide. But we got him. Now y'all don't know that we went to say our goodbyes and our cam our candles were smashed. They tore our I posters down. He told us he's sick and tired of us lighting candles. He's sick and tired of us letting balloons go. He's sick and tired of us with wine bottles. I said, officer, no one is drinking. We trying to say our final goodbyes. I thought that we could, but he said we was protesting. We was not. We was not. People just went to jail. People got hurt. For what? Because we wanted to, okay, it was a police shooting, but what? why can't we grieve? That's why right. can't I grieve as a grandmother? Right. Because my grandson got killed, right. okay? Yes, it hurts, yes, it hurts when you do these things and you try to cover uh -huh. up, but y'all gonna be accountable when this, when this, when this, uh, when we start showing this move. Yes, That's right. Jesse White, Jesse Jackson, he'll tell you, we got it. Hey, everybody doing today? My name is Roselle Long. I'm Deshaun's auntie. Deshaun was my baby, my little Scorpio, my love. First off, I want to tell everybody that's out here, I'm sorry for y'all loss. Happy birthday, happy belated birthday to the loved ones that y'all lost. What I'm asking here today is the officers to stop harassing my nieces, my nephews, and everybody else. Come here, Deshaun. This is my niece. You officers know who y'all are. When she's get out of school, y'all want to keep harassing her about her brother. Y'all already took something so precious from her. Leave her alone. Let her be. Let That's her right. quote. Let her mourn about her brother, okay? Leave her alone. And then going back over to the visual where everybody being arrested and beat up mm. or going on with that, mm. I was one of the victims there. Okay. 
having a, a peaceful candlelight for my nephew, a peaceful candlelight, but I get arrested and charged with mob action. Mm. Mm. Has that a mob action and we there for a candlelight for my nephew? Huh. Has that? How am I being tackled by several male officers? Mm. Why is that? Why am I being stumped on the ground? Mm. Why is that? And all you officers know who you are. You want us to help you, and we need you to help us. That's right. The ones that y'all standing up and not for that, but the, letting the officers abuse us like that, you are our voice. When we can't speak, we need you to speak up for us. If you want us to help you find a crime, solve a crime, complete a crime, you want us a community to help you, you need to help the community and snitch on your officers. That's right. How you right. want us to snitch right. on right. now, right. and y'all yeah. not going to snitch on no? That's right. Wrong right. is wrong, and right is right. That's we getting right. justice, and we going to get it. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.